What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and today is the day that Pokemon released the brand new trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon, a game that everyone of course is hype about, Gen 7, we're finally here boys. I saved my first reaction to watch the trailer on camera with you guys. Now, since I didn't go into total spoiler protection mode, I was using Twitter today, which means if Twitter's being used, I got spoiled to some things, but it's all good at the end of the day. I do know a couple of the characters, how they look, I don't know their names though, I did see that new Rotom design ahead of time, and I also did, well, I saw that the typing of the legendary Pokemon is also revealed, but I didn't see what their names are or anything like that. So I guess I'm not going in there 100% unspoiled or, you know, not 100% first time reaction, but <clears throat> this will be my first time watching the actual trailer itself. <clears throat> man, I gotta do something about this fucking throat, man. This shit has been fucking me up all week. But yo, let's check out this trailer for the first time together. Like I said, ain't gonna be totally fresh, but it's all good, man. I'm still excited to see where Pokemon Sun and Moon is going. And, you know, I want to see what the whole deal is with the Rotom form, too. Apparently, it's a Pokedex form. I don't know what's going on, man. So let's see what is happening, dude. We're gonna open up the desktop right here. I got the trailer saved up to a tab all in itself. And... Let's see what's got everybody talking. There's a lot of information that came out apparently, and you know, we have a minute long, excuse me, a minute and 35 second long trailer here, which is somewhat long in comparison to previous ones. So I'm curious, man. Let's go into it and see what the hell the Sun and Moon hype is all about. Wait a minute, hold on. Where's my volume at? Are we good, boys? Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, Lord. So, wait, what? It's not fire type. Wait, how in the fuck? It's what? Psychic steel? Oh, what in the hell? And it has clear body. How are you not a fire type? Sun steel strike. The nigga hits you with a solar flare. Luna, Luna, Luna La, really? That's his name? Luna La? Psychic ghost too on top of it. Though. Oh, Dark is gonna fuck that thing right in the ass. It's kind of a fuck up typing, but whatever. It's, it, it still works. I still like the design of it, even though it doesn't look like a Pokemon to me at all. Moon, Ge Moon Geist Beam. Oh shit! What was that psychic attack? Psychic attack? So people were saying that this shit is based off of Hawaii, right? I can see it, man. And you can change, customize. It's cool. Professor Kuki, Kukui, Kukui. What the hell? Lily? Oh, she's kind of bad. She's cute. She's cute. I like her. How? Your new friend in Aloha. Alola. And this new Rotom form. Here we go. There's a Rotom in your Pokedex. It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into the special box. What? What? November 18th. Okay. Okay. Interesting. A bunch of new information there. We're definitely going to have to run that back because it was kind of presented a little quick because you had the text of the actual trailer and then you had the in-game text too. And I want to make sure that I don't miss out on any of that. But why is this nigga not a fire type? Psychic and Steel, which is still a damn good type, I feel. But no, that actually is a really good type. Do we have any Psychic Steels out there right now? I don't think so. Hold on a minute. Let me make sure for myself, dude. I don't want to fucking sound... Like a dumbass here, but I don't think we have any psychic steals. Cerebi.net. Damn, not even a fire type. Okay, so they're pulling off something sort of similar to Reshiram in black and white. How a lot of people, when they first saw it, they thought that it definitely would be like some kind of light type. But it turned out to be an actual fire type, fire dragon. So, I mean, it catches people off guard. This one, it looked like it would definitely be fire. And instead, we have a psychic steal. To be real with you all, that's the last thing I was expecting from this thing. Psychic and Steel. Full metal body, which means it's kind of like clear body, so stat lowering stuff doesn't work on it. This thing looks so diesel though, like just looking at the fucking design right now. Look at its goddamn muscles, man. This Pokemon isn't a joke, bro. So, so, so Galio. So Galio. So Leo, obviously because of its uh, being a fucking lying, a lion, but fuck, man. Psychic and Steel type. Who guessed that? I think we have one Psychic Steel. I feel like we do. Or maybe I'm just tripping, man. I think we have one. I don't remember it off the top of my head. 
Yeah, we do Metagross. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right, and Jirachi. Yeah, so it's not a totally 100% um, unique typing, but it is a really good typing regardless. It probably isn't going to get Levitate, though, so Ground will definitely fuck it up. But it's unique, though. I'm, I'm glad to see it. But it's, it's going to be on a Legendary, so, you know, I guess the usage of it, we aren't going to really see it in competitive play unless you play Ubers, but... Okay. And the other one was Psychic Ghost? Okay. That's a unique type thing as well. We don't have too much of that besides, uh... I think it's, um... Who else is Psychic Ghost? I think, I think, um... Hoopa is Psychic and Ghost. But that's it. I don't think we have any other Psychic Ghost types besides Hoopa. Yeah, just Hoopa. Brand new, you know, brand new typing, basically. But then again, it's also on a Legendary, so we're not really going to be able to see it in competitive play, but I don't think it would matter too much anyways, man. The Dark is such a common attacking type in um, Pokemon right now. You're going to get fucked up. Damn, bro. Not to mention you have fucking Shadow Sneak all around and all that. Yeah, yeah. It's, but hey, whatever. Moongeist the Bean. It looks cool, though, man. Lunala and Sole Solegio. Lunana, 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 Lunala, and Soul Galio, Soul Galio. All right, so I'm feeling him definitely over the Moon one, but I'm probably still going to choose the Moon version just because you know it's a darker one. I feel a little bit more edgy when selecting that. But yo, guys, let me know what you think about this trailer yourself. Definitely confirmed to be a Hawaiian-themed region now. A lot of fucking water there, man. Watch out, you might just get a 7.8. Of course, we've seen a lot of this. This is really cool. And we have now the trainers confirmed here. Can someone please give me any kind of indication as to what the fuck is sitting on the top of her head right now? That'd be great. And we can go Shofu Black in the fucking trainer skin color too. We saw this earlier. And the professor. Professor Kukui? Kukui? He looks like a fucking wonky ass dude, man. He's kind of built now too. We got, we got niggas on deck. Here. Let's go. And he's married too, apparently. The dude has a fucking, um, he has a wedding band on his finger. Very fresh looking though. I love the relaxed Hawaiian theme. Really, and it says Kukui's mysterious assistant. I can already tell there's a bunch of Rule 34 of her by now. And how? Your new friend in Alola. And then the Rotom thing. Hold on a minute. So, so is that counting as a new Pokemon itself? Or is it just something unique to the Pokedex and it doesn't actually count as a new entry. A whole new way for people in Pokemon to communicate. Think about the way that this changes the fundamentals of Pokemon. Because the Pokedex is usually just a tool that you're able to access to look up information on the side. But now, thanks to the Rotom taking over the Pokedex, as we all know Rotom can take over electronic devices, not only is the Pokedex now just some tool that you use on the side, but it'll be an actual interacting member of your party. So it'll be sort of like having um, some sort of assistant with you, like how Link has uh, the fairies flown around with him all the time, or like the Diminish Cap. This is, this, is a, this is so cool! This adds a whole new dynamic to it, and apparently it can speak English too, or most likely it can manipulate the voice capabilities of the Pokedex itself, so that's where the Rotom can probably talk to you. I'm loving this, and it changes every- like, to me this is enough of a change to get me excited. Because now we're going to have a companion that looks pretty damn wonky, a Rotom actually able to talk to you. So, oh, you're going to get fucked up here, man. Don't do it. It's like, yo, I love that concept, bro. I can't wait to see this in action. Do you already see some of it? How ridiculously insane it looks right here talking to you. Nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? What kind of text is that? Oh, man. Pokemon Company. Even though you're reusing a concept that's almost 20 years old, you're doing it in a fresh ass way, dude. I love the Rotom interaction here, man. I, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be a game changer right here. Every time you open up your Pokedex, it's gonna be a whole. It's gonna be a whole funny. <sighs> yes, that's a that's a fucking A plus right there. That's, that's one of these right there. A whole new way for Pokemon and people to communicate too. So like maybe the Rotom could tell us like, oh, this Pokemon is feeling like this or. It opens up so many doors, man. But anyways, guys, that's just my opinion on it, though. Maybe it won't, but I, I don't think Pokemon Company would fuck up on this end. They are going to make that Rotom Pokedex integration one of the most interactive and hilariously engaging things in the game. I already know it. 
I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.